Hey, hi, uh, this video is about how to uh, plug in the Maven Cucumber uh, reporting, uh, reporting plugin into your existing uh, Maven test automation framework, which is uh, PDD1 as well. Uh, so uh, I'm just going to list out the uh, uh, the dependencies that you should add into your POM XML and uh, the changes that you should do to your uh, Cuke runner and uh, and the changes that you should do in your POM XML in order to get a fancy reporting like this. Uh, so the very first uh, dependency that I would uh, highlight would be the uh, Cucumber reporting, which is 5.6.1. Uh, this is available in the GitHub. I probably will share the link also in the description. And uh, the uh, other dependency is going to be uh, Cucumber Java. The version I have used is 6.9.1 and Cucumber JUnit. And you need a uh, Maven plugin API and you need uh, JUnit uh, 4.13.2. I mean, like you can go for the, the high, I would I would mostly stick with the versions that I have used. You can also go for higher version. And uh, you need two plugins, which is going to be Maven compiler plugin and uh, you need a Maven Surefire plugin and uh, third one will be your Maven Cucumber uh, reporting plugin, which is 5.6.0. The details of this will also be shared in the uh, description. And uh, and this is the change that you should do to your uh, Cuke runner uh, file. So in the Cuke runner file, once you add the five dependencies and the three plugins, uh, into your POM XML and then you save it, you probably need to add these details to your Cuke runner, which is going to be your uh, JSON target uh, directory. This will be your default uh, Cucumbers, uh, uh, um, what, I, what I'll say, the Cucumber format of report that is generally uh, created by the Cucumber for uh, uh, Cucumber itself. I'll just go over the uh, Eclipse and show you how the thing actually works. So basically, this is my uh, project, if I will show you. So I have a step definition. My step definition is for, uh, for this feature file. So this is my feature file. My feature file is basically uh, REST API testing. I'm just doing uh, like four steps in it. And my title is like title of my feature. Uh, that's my feature's name. And uh, so yeah, this is this is my uh, BDD's uh, feature file and this is getting hooked to step definition. So my step definition is an, inside uh, the package com.techarchive.cucumber reporting. And uh, I have my Cuke runner, which is also inside, a, it, which is inside a different package, which is runner. So inside that, I have mentioned these things, like my uh, JSON directory, where uh, which gets generated while I uh, run my when I run my project. I'll show the POM XML as well. Uh, if I'll go for the POM XML, like I mentioned in the uh, slide, uh, so the properties are going to be generated when you create the Maven uh, type project itself. Uh, and uh, your first dependency is going to be your J unit. Uh, so make sure the scope is going to be test. I think this comes default when you go for the uh, Maven uh, web, uh, dependency website and you copy paste it. And uh, I have used uh, my functional testing is on uh, rest assured. So, so I have used rest assured, like it could be Selenium or something else, like whatever, it depends upon your functional requirement. So this is going to be, uh, this is, I mean, a functional requirement dependency is very much important. Either you choose Selenium or rest assured. And uh, so this can be optional for this video, but uh, JUnit is important and uh, Cucumber reporting uh, is also is important and you need Maven plugin API, Cucumber Java, JUnit and uh, so you have three plugins that you have to be using. So you have Maven Cucumber reporting in the plugins as well and you have one in the dependency as well. So make sure you add, add it in the both the places 
and uh, one more thing to be taken care is in the in the whole uh, POM XML make sure your uh, test scope is only available in the J unit and not elsewhere for example uh, your cucumber J unit might also come with a scope of uh, test in it uh, if it has please uh, comment it uh, because uh, it kind of will not uh, let the uh, report to get generated properly so I would I would comment it but um, Feel free to comment it and uh, let me know if you are able to generate the reports if if you still have the scope in it and like probably you're not going to get though. So yeah. Also, uh, how did I arrive to this 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 build and plugin conclusion is like I I got it from the yeah. I got it from this place uh, in the GitHub, like where I actually got the uh, details of Maven Cucumber plugin. So basically, a part of my POM XML is just the copy copy paste of this section and section from the site. I like copied the, this complete from build till the build, and I all I did is like I removed, uh, I changed my. So for example. So all I did was I didn't do any any coding for this one uh, for the for the report generation itself. So let's go. So yeah, here. So if I I just copy pasted from the build and I like pasted inside my uh, POM XML. So if I look at my project name, so that I changed to my project name which is uh, Cucumber Reporting, and I did one more uh, change where I removed the uh, input directory. It will have like a slash JSON uh, report. Uh, for starters, I would say like remove it and uh, try to run and then you can tweak like uh, based on your, your requirements. So remove that JSON uh, directory from here and uh, yeah, that is one thing. And uh, the other thing would be uh, make sure you don't, you have only one uh, test scope, which is your J unit. And uh, the other one for I, since I'm using rest assured, it comes with a uh, test scope. So that needs to be uh, included. Uh, if it is going to be Selenium, probably you don't have to add it. So that is pre pretty much it. Once you do that, um, those changes to your POM XML and changes to your Qq runner to include a JSON reporting. So, I mean, the plugin to include JSON uh, file in it. Uh, that's all. Uh, there is not uh, pretty much. Uh, there's no coding involved in this. So, and then after you try to run your Qq runner, run that in J unit. So the program is getting an output. Yeah, it is receiving some output after it passed some input. So yeah, this is this is report giving some success response. So when that is done, and now when you start to so choose your, uh, I mean, uh, most of the times like uh, your project might not be in the. Uh, what I'll say, let's, let me look for it, yeah. So when you configure, so here you will have like convert to Cucumber project because since it is a Cucumber project, like make sure you convert it into Cucumber. Uh, so once you do that, like uh, next, so the first step would be like you ran the J unit and then uh, you can go for Maven build and you have to run this one in verify mode since because we have added the uh, cucumber uh, uh, reporting plugin so that works on uh, verify goal so when you click this So if everything went fine, you will be able to see this part of uh, log being shown to you, which will say like Maven Cucumber reporting got generated. And, uh, and that gets generated because uh, from the JSON file that got uh, generated from the uh, J unit, 
JUnit and the other plugins that is available in it, but I'm not going too deep into that. So that's pretty much it. And uh, yeah, so let's like uh, look at the report that got generated. So if I look for my report, yeah, here you have. So you will have variety of reports that can be created by the uh, Cucumber uh, Maven Cucumber plugin. So which is your overview. So let's like I'll just open the features.html. So I have it here. I will open it in the browser. So if I look for the uh, report, so I will have a, a report that will give me past, failed, the, the test that I have skipped and the feature name. And if I click the feature name, I'm probably going to be taken uh, into an in-depth uh, look of like where it is passing and uh, which step it is like uh, navigated to. And like I can also see reports like via tag, but my my current test report doesn't have anything. So so obviously it is not showing me any details about the tags steps. Obviously I have like four steps in it. So I have details of steps and there is no failure. So probably it's not going to show anything. So that's pretty much it. And, uh, and uh, yeah, thank you then.